Hi, it's Anne here, and today's video is my eighth update for the Panning Punk project for 2022. So this project is a Fantastic Ladies project. It was created by, I think her name, her channel is Ally in Wonderland, and it's all based around like punk music. So there were 20 prompts based on popular uh, punk music songs. I added 10 more prompts to the project. The project is a 12 month project. So it started at the beginning of the year and it's gonna go to the end of the year. So let's get into the prompts that I currently have. We do have one rollout. So there'll be one new rolled in product. The first prompt I have is number six, The Myth Misfits Halloween. And the prompt is a horror slash scary movie inspired product or a Halloween inspired product. Was difficult to pick something, but I picked this NYX Single Press Shadow in the shade Transylvania. In my goal, I said 12 uses. So far, I have used it 11 times, <laughs> 11 times. So as of last update, I had four times. So that means I used it seven more times since my last update and I have one more use uh, left. I might, I might use it a couple more times, we'll see. I need to focus on my single shadow, like the lighter shadow in my NYX palette. So in my regular painting project, so I don't know, we'll see, but I do enjoy this. I have it on my inner corners today. I've kind of used it to lighten up um, the inner corners. I think I've struggled using this because it is a little bit more pink based. Let's do a little swatch. Um, I'm not, I guess, yeah, like it's a bit more cooler tone, not pink based, but a cooler tone shade. And the shades that I've been using in my Pan That Palette are a bit more warmer. So that's what it looks like right there. I mean, I could have used it as a highlight, I guess, as well. It's a little intense. You'd have to go pretty light handed if you wanted to use that way, but definitely could be used as a highlight as well. It's a really, really nice shade. I really enjoy it. So last month, this was 3.04 grams. It's now 3.01 grams. So that is a difference of 0.03 grams. And again, that's gonna stay in one more month. My second prompt is number 12. So this uh, band is some 20, some 21, some 41, and the song is still waiting. And the prompt is a devastating product or product that feels like it's taking forever. I picked my trusty Winky Lux Unibrow product that feels like it's taking forever. I actually took it out of another project because I was fed up with it. Um, it is moving along. I'll put the little picture of what I have in my notebook, I can actually see that it is moving. Looking at it visually, I'm like, it looks exactly the same, but my measurement is showing that it is going down. Weights, weights are not, which we should not be expected because that's what happened last time. So last month, this was 9.02 grams. It's still 9.02 grams. That's a difference of zero. My third product, so I'm doing five products. Originally I was doing four, but I'm doing five products didn't mention that at the beginning, it's between four and six products for this project. So my third one is number 13, Fall Out Boy, She's My Winona, and a project that has your whole heart and soul forever. And I picked this NYC bronzer in Faux Sun. I had uh, projected to use this 20 times. I actually brought this back. I used it uh, once before in this project, but I brought it back. Uh, last time I used it seven times. I've used it another seven times. So I have six uses left to go on this guy. I don't think visually, I mean, I don't know, let's see if I can find a photo of this from when I started. I don't know if I took a photo of this from when I started. I don't think visually this is gonna really look much different, but maybe it does, who knows. Um, so last month this was 32.76 grams. It's now 32.54 grams. So that's a difference of 0 0.22 grams. My fourth prompt is the one that actually is going to be rolling out. It is number 19 and the artist and song is Paramore Misery Business. Prompt is a product from a brand that is only known for one thing. And I picked the Cleona eyeshadow in Hex. Cleona is known for their eyeshadows. And I had said I want to use it 12 times. I think last time I'd used it eight times. So I've used it four more times since then. One of those times is today. So that's like the main color on my eyes today. Let's just give her one last swatch. Actually, I weighed it before I used it, I think. So the weight's probably gone down a little bit more since then. But there it is, the second swatch on my hand there. Again, beautiful color, beautiful eyeshadow. It's not part of any of their like stained glass collections or anything. It's just one of their regular duochrome type shadows, but again, great formulation. Uh, so yeah, that is rolling out because I've used it the 12 times. And last month it was 2.84 grams. It's now 2.83 grams. So that's just a difference of 0.01 grams. But in total, I used 0.14 grams. It's definitely a softer shadow, one that I could like hit pan on probably fairly easy, but I feel like it's a pretty dramatic, 
it's definitely a distinct color. I don't say dramatic, but it's a distinct, it's a distinct vibe. Uh, so it's not something for me for every day, even though it is a wearable everyday eyeshadow, if that makes sense. So that will be rolling out and then I'll talk about what I'm rolling in at the end. And my fifth prompt is number 21 and it's one I added in. It is the band AFI and the song Love Like Winter. And the prompt is a product that you like to use in the winter or cooler months. And I picked this guy, the ABH Glow Kit in Aurora. And I have listed here that I wanna use it 20 times. I believe last time I said I used it 10 times. Uh, I've used it six times since then. So I have four more uses left. Uh, it's not gonna look like any different. Um, I'm wearing this um, on the sort of outer corner. I have outer corner. I have another shade on, um, which I'll talk about in a second. <laughs> Surprise. Uh, but yeah, this is basically what's on my outer corner just to sort of deepen that purple up a little bit. Um, and then I'm wearing these, these two right here. So Luna and Eclipse as my highlight right now. So yeah, I've used all of the shades. Like that was kind of one of my thing too, is to use all the shades. I've definitely used all of the shades. This one is probably maybe my least favorite, the green one. Um, it's just not for me. I'm not a green person. I don't think greens are good with my skin tone uh, for the most part. So yeah, this is this is moving along slowly but surely. Again, I didn't use it a whole lot. Like what was it? Six times, but I've been using it in small amounts like eyeshadow, like with eyeshadows, like eyeshadow topper, or like today I used it a little bit in the crease. Um, so last month it was 112.03 grams. It's now 112.01 grams. That's a difference of 0.02 grams. So again, this is staying in the project for now. So I have to replace that Hex eyeshadow with a new product. So it took a little while, took a few runs to get uh, the randomizer to pick because I've gone through almost all of the prompt so far, but I did end up on prompt number 15, which is Panic at the Disco High Hopes, a product that you have high hopes for or uh, a product you hope to reach a goal on. Sorry, it's cut off here. I can't quite read it. You hope you can reach your goal on. Okay, so the product I picked was kind of wavering be between a couple things. I decided to go for an eyeshadow and I'm going for this little single eyeshadow. Um, show it to you close up there. The single eyeshadow from the Carly Bible uh, Deluxe Edition palette from BH Cosmetics. That was my Pan That palette last year. This one's close to being done. I think I can finish this out by the end of the year. Uh, so that's what the goal is. I, I'm pretty confident in this. I'm trying to take a swatch of it. It's a little hard to, a little hard to swatch. Um, it's sort of like a mauve pinky brown. I call it like a pinky brown. Uh, I think it'll be really, really nice in the fall. Um, just for something a little bit different than some of my other eyeshadows. So hopefully you can see it there on the bottom. Um, so I do have a little bit of that on my outer corner today. I did that before I decided to even pick this shadow. Um, it's been sitting in this little like eyeshadow thing for a while, um, meaning to pull it into a project at some point. And I feel like this is the time, this is the time to pull it into something. So we're here. Um, so this has got, been kind of convenient because I've had like, well, right now I have three eyeshadows from this project in here, even though Hex is coming out. Um, so yeah, it's kind of convenient for me to, to pick this kind of eyeshadow. I was thinking about another eyeshadow. Um, I have one of those Stila Glitter and Glows, a mini one, and it, I was going to put that as a, a finish, but I'm like, oh, I was testing it out this morning. And I was like, I don't, I don't know. There still seems to be a lot of product left on that. Uh, and the reason why I wanted to is because I finished one other one and then the other from the set I decluttered. So it would have been that whole set would be done. Um, but I think this is a good one. I think it's doable to finish it. It's a little different than any of my shades in my Pan That Project, but I, or my Pan That Palette, but I feel like it'll work with some of those shades too, especially the shades that I don't use, the ones on the other side, um, on the right side of that palette, the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette. Yeah, so that is going to be my new fifth item for this project. So that is it. That is the eighth update for the Panning Punk project for 2022. If you like this video, feel free to give a little thumbs up down below. And if you haven't already, I would love it if you subscribe to my channel here in Toronto, Canada. I hope you're doing well, and I'll see you sometime soon. Bye.